Alright, doing my final video on the light upgrade for my 1995 Bluebird Wander Lodge. Switching out all the fluorescent bulbs to these new LED 3000K warm white strips. Uh, bought these on Amazon. They're self-adhesive on the back and they already have the pigtails installed so they're super easy. So I've done all the lights besides this last one which I'll show you. I have my daughter hold the camera here. So the first thing you want to do is pop the cover off the light. It's got a little lip on it. You just got to flex it in. I go inside and uh, remove the bulbs. Once the bulbs are removed, take out the uh, Phillips screw, dry, screw head for the uh, deflector. Set it along the side. And then I come in and there's one screw on the end of each side of the light. That's going to drop the uh, light down. And then once I have it down, you don't have to cut both the wires because one of them's already switched, but I'm going to do that just to make it easier on showing how to get the light out. From there, I'll take it over the table and we'll continue. Next thing we're going to do is, mine are pre-wired with a switch. I still want to leave those on there. So you've got two lines um, that uh, come in and out of that switch. So the first line goes over to the old transformer. It's going to snip that one. And then if we look on the back, the second wire uh, leads to the power supply. That was the one I said you don't have to cut, but it was easier to do it for this uh, video. Next thing we have to do is remove all the mounts and the old uh, transformer. So to do that, put a drill bit in. This is a, uh, I don't know what size this is, quarter inch drill bit. I tried smaller, but the rivet ends keep getting caught. Now there is a post in the center here. This is the rivet you do not want to drill out because you won't have anything to mount your uh, deflector onto. So the center rivet you leave off. These you'll see pretty fast drilling them out. So you got two on that side and you got three down here. So yeah. All right, so I don't make an absolute disastrous mess. I do vacuum it up as I go. All right, once you're done with that, flip them over. And you'll see they just pop off. Now, I told you not to remove the rivet on that center one. You gotta cut that post. Cut it, and there you have it. That is the old can with the uh, everything removed. Next thing you can do is just come in and strip them. And we're gonna get these ready to go. I'm gonna put some butt connectors on there. Get them in there. Now on LEDs, you have to make sure that you have positive to positive and negative negative, otherwise uh, they won't light up. And so these are pretty neat because on one end, they come with a male connector. On the other end, they come with a female connector. So if you want, you can daisy chain these together and hook up multiple lights, which is exactly what we're gonna do in this application because we're gonna have two sitting side by side. Now, they give you a bunch of different pigtails for the ends. I've already got um, one of them ready to go, but uh, I'll show you what I do with these. Um, the wire is pretty small gauge. Um, I mean, it's probably like a 24 gauge. I'm not exactly sure. So what I do is take them, strip them, and then when I put the butt connectors on, I double up the wire so it's a little bit thicker when it goes in and holds. I also use the uh, heat shrink connectors so that uh, they hold on there pretty tight. Um, if you get too close on these things, you're gonna light them on fire. I'm losing butane here. So um, once you get them 
melted on, you can go and head up, hook up the connector. The first thing I want to do though is I want to go into the back of the coach and it, it's never wired the same in every coach. I've had all these lights. One time the yellow wire is the positive, the next time the yellow wire is the negative. All right, so I'm back here testing. You got a black wire <clears throat> and a white wire. They're, these are daisy chained to the next light down. Um, but I want to show you what I'm talking about if you get the uh, wires backwards. So right now it's lighting up. So on this particular one, the black is going to be my positive. The white's going to be my ground. If I switch them the other way, you'll see that it doesn't work. And that's pretty consistent with LEDs. So we're hooked in. Nothing. Again, if I switch it. got power so I need to remember that the black is gonna be my power wire all right so what I've done is just hooked one side of the positive into the switch the other side coming out of the switch is gonna to go to the supply uh, back there but I want to show you how we do the uh, installation itself super easy gotta line our hole back up we got our Phillips that I need to get a screwdriver for Phillips, get right back in. And this is the beauty of these. They're already pretty adhesive. Now, I wiped that deflector off uh, before doing these just to clean it up. Um, get any oil and grime off of it. But I'll show you how you do these. Got the adhesive off the back. This is literally going to come in. And stick it right down into the light. You gotta flex it a little bit. And put them in. And then again, the next one's daisy chain. I can just plug it right in. Positive to positive. Now, if you look on these lights, there's a line about every inch and a half. You can cut these down. I do cut off this second one at the very end, right at the line, so that I have a little more room to center it and the wires aren't going to wear through on the end from that daisy chain that I'm not going to use. So I go in here, push them in, and we're ready to go. Come on. All right, so. For time saving sake, you don't need to see me heat shrink these butt connectors. I've got the uh, wires hooked back up to the light itself. You can see my switch is still working, so if I want to shut them off. Um, right here, I just take the extra and tuck it back behind the, uh, the light. And then I'll screw it back up and put the lens back on and we're ready to go. All right, there's two different styles of lights you can buy. These are both on Amazon. The first style I bought, which I'll show you, were a 6000K super bright white bulb. And uh, I put them in, I'll show you a couple different places. Uh, I realized it was way too much. In fact, I had them here over the kitchen table and it was uh, too much light, light, way too bright. So I ordered another set and you can see on these, these are the 3000K warm light and uh, it has just one bulb definitely has a yellowish, uh, yellowish tint to it um, these run about uh, $29 if I recall for 10 so they're, they're super cheap they come bound up there's two sets in each um, um, package uh, I don't know if you'll be able to tell here but these are the warm white and then down here you can see a different different difference this is the uh, 6000k super bright and uh they they're they're that just that they're super bright but they're too bright um to use everywhere so i put them along the couches on both sides and then uh put the warm bright up in the kitchen area i put a uh super bright up in the kitchen above the um upper cabinets that's a super bright there in the uh, bathroom. But in the head, I only put the uh, warm 
So it's a lot easier on the eye than uh, the super brights. So I have some left. I'm probably just going to put them underneath the uh, bed. But uh, overall, it turned out pretty good. I got rid of a total of uh, 26 uh, fluorescent light bulbs. So no more of these 18 inches. Um, if anybody needs them, they were all brand new. I just bought them for the coach when I first got it and decided to switch out. So that's it.